This video will discuss marine flukes and black ick. In addition, treatment options for eliminating both worms will be presented. Saltwater flukes are parasitic flatworms which can attach to a fish's skin and also enter the gills and eyes. Flukes are translucent in salt water and can normally only be seen on a dark colored fish. If a fish has gill flukes, you will not see them at all. However, in all instances, a fish infected with flukes will exhibit behavioral symptoms such as scratching, lethargy, swimming near the water surface, clamp fins, and loss of color at the insertion site. A fish with gill flukes may yawn, twitch its head, and if the infestation is heavy enough, swim into the flow of a wave maker. It is important to note whether a fish is targeting the gills or its body when it scratches to pin down whether the fish has gill or skin flukes. A five minute freshwater dip can be used as a diagnostic tool to check for skin flukes. It is less likely to show evidence of gill flukes, however. Within five minutes, flukes will turn white and start dropping off a fish. They look like white sesame seeds, as you can see here. It is best to use a dark colored bucket for doing the freshwater dip so that you can look for dead white flukes on the bottom. I will include a link which explains how to perform a freshwater dip in the comment section. This video shows skin flukes coming off a powder brown tang during a freshwater dip. The animal is obviously stressed but is usually fine once returned to salt water and less badly diseased. If the fish appears to still be struggling once returned to salt water, you can gently glide the fish through the water or position him in front of a wave maker on low to get salt water flowing through the gills again. Also, any fish showing evidence of flukes in the eyes should always be given a freshwater dip prior to being treated with any medication for flukes. This is because flukes spasm before dropping off when exposed to certain dewormers, such as praziquantel, and all that trembling can damage a fish's eye. This does not happen to a fish when fresh water is used to dislodge flukes. Black ick is ick in name only, and has no relation to the infamous marine ick parasite, Cryptocarian irritans. These are actually tubularian worms. They are easily distinguishable on a fish as small black dots, as you see in the photos here. Tangs are most often afflicted, and black ick should not be confused with clownfish hypermelanization. Worms are treated differently than parasites so copper and metronidazole will not work on them. You need to use specific deworming medications or prolonged osmotic shock to completely eliminate them. A single five minute freshwater dip will only provide temporary relief. Praziquantol is the dewormer of choice for both flukes and black ick. You can treat with straight Praziquantol powder or use Prazipro, API General Cure, or Fritz Paracleans, all of which contain Praziquantol. These treatments can all be dosed directly into a quarantine tank. You can also do either fenbenderzol or formalin baths to deworm, or two five-minute freshwater dips generally works on skin flukes only. The caveat here is it would be best to transfer the fish into a new quarantine tank following each bath to avoid possible reinfection from the previous tank. You'll notice that all of these treatments say to do a second dose or bath five to seven days after the first. The reason for the second dose is to eradicate the next generation of worms before they can lay eggs of their own, because while these chemicals do kill worms, they won't eliminate any eggs left behind on the fish or in the aquarium. 
I will also post a link in the comments section to a website you can use for determining when is the best time to do the second dose. Finally, hyposalinity or osmotic shock therapy can be used to eliminate worms as well. In most cases, seven days will suffice, although in some rare instances it has been reported that 35 days are required for 100% eradication. Thank you for watching this video. See links in the comments section for more detailed information and join us on our humble.fish forum for all reef aquarium related discussion.